You must not watch this. I'm warning you. You can never unsee it. I've had this idea for a long time, and it's my first space Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. But the idea of making it found footage I, it came quite late. It was going to be a two-parter, and I've sort of I've ploughed all that backstory into it. It's all there, but it's just a few tangential um, references. Mm -hmm. It's set in the 38th century in a, in a space station in orbit around Neptune, and something terrible is And uh, it, it's in this future. Um, India and Japan have become the dominant cultures. Mm. So it's an Indo-Japanese, largely Indo-Japanese crew. And um, uh, this machine has been invented called Morpheus, which eliminates the need for sleep. It's essentially a satire on, on capitalism mm. and where our work ethic is going to get us <laughs> one of these days. And uh, so basically the doctor discovers that sleep is not just good for you, but essential. I always enjoy the Doctor Who episodes that bring up monsters, creatures that we know from folklore and then put them in that, that Whovian realm. But what is the key to, to telling a scary story within Doctor Who? Because we know, we know the Doctor is going to find some somewhat reasonable explanation for this and he's going to save the day, you know, knowing that conceit. Ultimately, it has to be how you tell the story. Largely, the Doctor's going to win and got 45 minutes to tell that story, but I think within that is where the fun lies because you can tell so many different types of story and so many different sort of types of ways of scaring people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's certainly what I try to do with this one is is make it, um, uh, I sort of set out to write it as a horror movie and I thought, well, I'll rein it in for Doctor Who and I haven't much at all. Okay. So it's come out, it's very scary. Watching the teaser, actually, I thought, Immediately, I thought about Blink for some reason. Maybe it's just them yeah. looking directly into the camera. I'm trying to tap into primal fears, what we've always found scary, what children always find scary. So it's, it's a lot to do with that. But also, um, I'm hesitant about saying it's the scariest episode ever because you, it's a hostage to fortune for people to say, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, But it's, it's good. I'm very pleased with how it's come out. But ultimately, I just wanted to sort of uh, tell it in a particularly sort of spooky way. And I think the whole thing of... It's a fascinating, a very challenging episode to make mm -hmm. for everybody because you have to sort of unlearn all the things you've grown up to. Not looking down the lens, for one. You know, usually if an actor catches this camera, you have to go again. Right. This is particularly, we've got to talk down the lens all the time. And, and then the point of view of different characters and sometimes it sort of means you, you don't get the same coverage as you would in a normal episode at all, which is very challenging in the edit. But at the same time, you've got this wonderful... Um, uh, sort of a possibility of doing things differently and, and breaking up the image. There's a particular bit where uh, Rhys Shearsmith is playing Rasmus and he's talking directly to the camera. He's sort of narrating what's happened. And he says, uh, oh, we had our own problems. And it just goes bang, straight into, that was my clap, by the way, straight <laughs> into, um, uh, into an emergency situation, right. which in a normal episode you, you would have built up to. But in this sort of found footage where you can just cut it out. Mm -hmm. You just you just put together the bits that you want to show. Not to make things too uncomfortable, but which do you prefer for the doctor? Yeah. Nothing wrong with the sun sunglasses is they don't do this. That's true. Mine do. Yes. They are they are very nifty. Alright. I'm on board with the Sonic sunglasses. Uh, well, <laughs> I think they're brilliant. But also, wait and see. Wait and see. Do you know that joke? How many Doctor Who fans does it take to change a light bulb? How many? Change? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I'm just going to say you guys should tune in and watch Sleep No More this Saturday on uh, BBC America, written by this awesome gentleman. I so. can only agree. You can agree. You should so. watch that. So thanks so much for joining me, sir. Thank you. I appreciate Let's see it. it.